Shows like Richard Mercer, yeah, it's funny, he's about to roll around all the uh, around the grand scores. Thanks to the local Burger Co. We're underway here in the second turn. First kick comes out to Vermont. Wade McConnell wants to sit underneath that ball. Can't take the markets in a half forward. Got leaves it. Has some sharp work in the pack with his kick. It's run into by Cassidy on centre wing. Goes long inside 450. Pushed out of the contest was Perry. It looks like the Tigers are going to be rebound well, but only as far as I think that's Perry Deneen covered in mud. He certainly is. Cassidy on hands and knees, hands and knees now for the Eagles. And the ball is set half forward and he's not going in. Once again, Paul, every time Vermont go forward, they're just not getting any reward for effort whatsoever. No, they're certainly not. The kick to uh, Perry left a little bit to be desired. Shepard kicks smothered. Two on one here in favour of the Tigers, but Cassidy does exceptionally well. Eventually, Cross comes back in for ball and picks the ball up. Running back into some trouble is Weatherall. Dyson Baker, thanks to the local Burger Code. What's interesting coming out of the other grounds? Starting in Division 4, Eastern Lions leading by 7 First. points over Fintry Gully. Colts ran by 14 points over at Goldless Club, Mayley Hawks. Another one in five straight, led by 9 points over at Surrey Park and Forest Hill. Like 7 points over that place. Division 3 2, there's another stop at just over half four. Uh, Ringwood lead by 25 points over at Goldless Heathmont. Uh, in the early game, up Fintry Gully by 15 points as midway through the second term. Uh, Mitchum by 17 over at Goldless Temple Stowe. Mm. Uh, comfortable lead by 14 points to the base over South Belgrade and Whitehorse. One goal to one point. Lead by six Good points. time to get back to things. Well, I go to the top of the goal screen. Mark that time. He balls from McConnell to Perry on the left foot kick. He snuck it through the big fella. Great finish. Not bad for the big, big man in Joel Perry. There's the first blood for the Eagles in the second term. First blood for them for the afternoon, in fact. They move to 1-1-7, one, one, and lead Baldwin 3-4-22 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. We've gone about two minutes in the first turn. And uh, so far, inside forward, uh, inside forward 40 at the moment, Baldwin 2 2 Baldwin, no score, thanks to uh, Tuesday. Out, but, uh, the Blood Bank, Ryan Dyke, res oh, Pink's Reserve, sorry, watching Full Sight versus Ryan Dyke. We'd like an update Love on that one because that is a big matchup and probably the game of the round in Division 4. Come on, Ray Baird, earn your dollars. Ball back in the middle, cross, great work, roving that pack. He gets the first possession down from that centre clearance. Goes long inside the forward 50, off a couple of hands, bouncing ball to half forward, quick kick out of mid air from the Eagles. All of a sudden, the ball's at half forward, McCafferty runs it over the boundary line for a boundary throw in. Division 2, Dyson Baker, thanks to the local Burger Cup. Division 2, all square phase here by open between Bayswater and, and the Waverley Blues. Doncaster, 9 goals, 3 in the first term, lead by 49 points over scores. We were back inaccurate once again, 3 at 26, lead by 26 points over Goldust on Gaster East, and a 1 point lead to one turn south over Mulgrave. And in Division 1, uh, Norwood lead by 9 points over a goalless Blackburn. Uh, Knox lead by 31 points over a goalless Lilydale. Noble Park 8 4 52 lead South Croydon 1 behind 1 point. Still no score coming in from Noble and we'll be probably waiting 24 hours before you get the score for this one. Yep, well, very funny. But real sharp stuff from you. There's a free kick at half back. Liam Fraser's got the ball for the Tigers. Goes to half forward. Shepard. It's the handball out to the Gogol's direction. Misses him, and Meeson picks it up, and his handball's to space. Trying to borrow his way through. Now Shepard, running ball inside 450. Goes in the Barker direction. Bounces off his chest. Good work, though. Gets the handball to Broadhurst. He's ran the body, body kick. Looks pretty good going inside 450. But the Vermont defender's more than up to the challenge. Predo swings it wide across goal. Pretty dangerous. Mark Drop. Trigier's the first one there. Left foot kick around the corner. Oh, just over the top of Gilchrist's head. Outside, not wanting to score at the moment. Broadhurst lays a tackle. Staples kick straight into the back of Ed McCutcheon. The ball rebounds out of him and goes out of bounds. Right where the 40 meter line meets the boundary line. Seven. 
Brisbane. We've gone about five minutes here in the second quarter. It's absolutely freezing in Essendon Park. A typical winter's day in Melbourne. Good for footy, some might say. Good for watching footy. Good for watching footy on TV, some others might say. Here comes Hurdling back into play now. Still in half three for the Tigers. Mason, third man up. Cross was good. <laughs> Davis up and Pemberley over the back with the ball goes over the line for a one behind. One, one, eight, Eagles, three, four, 22. Ball one, 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 two, eight, apologies. Six minutes gone here in the second turn. Ball with Chagir in the
course, uh, yeah, we awareness round the Eastern Football League. Take control. Take the 100-day challenge of fight. You know you're not a preacher, but also no doubt you'll be taking on the fight.
return. First versus third this afternoon. They were scooped up on there by Shepard. He kicked the scrum into the ball, comes up towards Alfie. Alfie being on the left there by Jackson Weatherly. He had the back spot, but he uh, held his ground straight away. Bringing Conor McCaffrey to the ground. Kilsoth lead by three points against Warren Knight. Kicks hard at the football, but he kicks straight at the ball. First goal on the board, 
today as Belmont have their third on the Bucky Go Back scoreboard. We've gone 19 minutes in this second term. They are 3 3 21. Seven points is the margin ball and 4 4 28. Three on the trot, the Eagles. The kick from McLean was a cracker because they had to the perfect position on this. They had Davis and three Tigers to beat. And there was no mark of error on the pass. So the kick was a good one. Jack took the mark and the finishing skills of the set shot are what makes a good forward. The ball's back in the middle. I don't reckon Coach Dan Danone would be too happy with the way ball are playing at the moment. I think they're just trying to be too pretty and too cute.
much work. So Johnson will lead there for that ball plate. Is ignored. He'll be just beyond him this distance. He knows he's got to go towards the Perry direction. Here's the flyer at the back. And the first back. They all do have the numbers. Wilcox is in there. They'll hold the player and will have a bounce. Only 10 players out for goal. Coming in to restart the play. One of our best. Castricum. Knocked it out. Old ball and just tried to build that way through here. Because Penderbury kicked it to the middle in the goal screen. Because we know it just had a little bit of weight here.